Hello lovelies. So um, in one of my last videos I was showing you guys some stuff I got off Wish and I got some um, things that were marketed as fondant cutters for making roses and I was playing with it and I more or less figured out how to use it so I figured I would try to demo it for you guys. Uh, I did practice with it a couple of times so I'm pretty sure this will go smoothly unlike the last time I tried to show you guys how to do a crafting thing but we'll see what we got. So what I've got here is about a quarter of a block of Sculpey uh, that I was testing with a bit, and that's why it's got all kinds of weird dust and stuff in it, um, even though I'm working on the wax paper, because somebody didn't clean up her glitter. Um, so I pretty much figured out step one is just roll it out as flat as you can, um, and using a quarter of a block of Sculpey will give you enough Sculpey to fit the mold. Uh, this, by the way, is the smallest mold. The other ones are way bigger. So we're doing the tiny mold because I'm hoping to get, I was hoping to get pieces that are small enough to use with resin crafting, uh, which I don't think I will, to be completely honest, but that won't stop me from enjoying the fact that I can make roses more easily because I love roses. Roses are my, probably my favorite flavor, uh, uh, pah, favorite color. I actually don't like eating flower flavored things, uh, but they're probably my favorite flower um, aesthetically. Scent wise, maybe not my favorite, but oh my gosh, they're pretty. So there we go. I've rolled it out. As you can see, the little cutter thing does fit on it. Um, and I got it as thin as I could because you want it to be thin for the next part. So squish, squish, squish. I'm sure it went all the way through. And then peel it up. Oops. Well, that's the first time that's happened. Usually the other part comes up first. Okay. We'll work with that. Crafting is such an adventure. Does anybody else have that happen? It's like, hello, I've discovered a new trick when I thought I already knew everything about how to do something. And we're going to put a fingernail mark on that because of that. Oh, well. So you want to be careful not to stretch it because um, you do want it to be uh, the shape you cut out. So then you fold it in half and try to actually get it in half because you want all the little bumpies to line up with each other. And I'm just going to squish it a little thinner on this edge because I noticed that helps it roll better. And then pick it up. And since that end has a horrible dent for my fingernail, that's the end we want to really hide. So I'm going to just start rolling and I'm being very careful to keep the bottom even. I was not careful about that on a couple of my test ones and those ones turned out really awful. So keep an eye on that bottom edge and you want to keep it as even as possible. And you want to keep the bottom tight, but you're kind of looking for the top to fan out because uh, that's what roses do. So you're going to get kind of a half open rose effect. It's larger than a bud, but it's not that full open, open rose. Um, so... That is what you get. From the top, it looks pretty good. It looks like a rose. Uh, from the side, it's weirdly tall. Um, so I figured that trimming it, trimming it works pretty well. You want to trim it kind of a little bit below where those uh, scallop divots are. And you want to be careful because if your clay is as soft as mine is, you're going to kind of squish it, which will mess up the shape of the rose. So you kind of want to uh, aim so that it's laying like because it's a little bit fatter going this way right now. So knowing it'll squish, it'll kind of even that out. So I want it vertically kind of tall. So I'm going to set it like that. And it's still going to squish a bit because my clay is super soft, but I just want to show you guys. Squish. So like you can see how soft my clay is. I, I warmed it up a lot and I did a lot of practice roses before doing this video for you. So that looks pretty reasonable. It'll sit decently. Um, it's way too big to use with my bezels. I mean, there's a, there's a dinosaur. You can't really put the rose on the dinosaur. It's not going to work. But I figure I can still come up with some really neat uses for them and stuff when I'm trying to incorporate the Sculpey into my stuff. So now that this is done, the next step would be to, if I wanted to like paint it with any pastels on the edges to give it more coloring depth, I could. Uh, and then go bake it in the oven according to package instructions. Um, not going to bother showing you that part because the point is just to show you how the thingy works. Uh, and uh, that's it. So hopefully that was interesting to you guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, links to my social media are down below if you found me through uh, YouTube searches instead of 
through the links off of my social media. Um, and uh, as always, um, Patreons, you get first dibs on asking me what to do next, if there's anything else I've shown that you guys want me to use, or if there's any videos you want to see me make. Uh, and anybody else is also welcome to make comments, just comment down below. And I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys. Have a great day. Bye.